This is Dr. Kevin of Eye Associates of South Texas. I'm going to show you an interesting case of a corneal ulcer I saw a few weeks back. This is a patient with a contact lens related keratitis and it was unsure initially if it was bacterial or fungal. Um, as you can see the ulcer is large about six millimeters by six millimeters with fairly indistinct edges. You can see on fluorescein staining with a cobalt blue filter there's a large central corneal opacity and you can see it nearly has finger-like feathery edges. As we're looking on the slit lamp we can see that the corneal ulcer is very thick and because of its thickness the corneal ulcer did not respond well to topical therapy. We used uh, topical natamycin which is the only commercially available antifungal available in the United States and used this every two hours. You can see uh, in the anterior chamber uh, the eye is injected but the ulcer does not go to the white part of the eye. You can see a small hypopion inferiorly which is a little band of white blood cells uh, that have layered in the bottom of the anterior chamber. As topical therapy cannot get to the cornea what we need to do or the corneal infection we need to debride the necrotic tissue. For this we use a sterile cotton tip. Uh, you can use a 15 blade if you like um, and we basically remove all the necrotic tissue that's blocking the medication from getting to the active infection. As you can see we are removing this necrotic uh, area of tissue that is epithelial and stromal cells associated with this fungal infection. We continue to debride these cells until we get to the underlying area of active infection where the necrotic tissue does not continue to be easily removed. At this point, we continue topical therapy of topical natamycin eye drops every two hours. The patient returns in two days, and this is the appearance of his cornea. Um, after the corneal scrape, you can see that the ulcerated or opacity um, centrally is much less thick. Also, the epithelial defect is starting to decrease. You'll see this when we stain with fluorescein and turn the cobalt blue filter on. You can see the area that's ulcerated is much smaller. The hypopion, the white blood cells in the anterior chamber, have completely disappeared um, at the inferior part of the anterior chamber. This is a good sign. It shows that the antifungal medication is penetrating well into the anterior chamber as well as in the clear cornea. This patient still has a long way to go on his road to recovery and will likely be left with a central corneal scar that will need cornea transplant uh, in the future. This is vitally important that patients are careful when wearing contact lenses to observe good lid hygiene. Thank you for your attention. This is Dr. Kavanaugh of I Associates of South Texas.